the folks that aren't interested in understanding what just took place, why it's important, how it's likely to repeat in the future the same way, the folks that just simply want to know what's the next move? What's the Mars bias? Am I, am I buying tomorrow? Am I selling short tomorrow? What's the target? That to me is a little disappointing because not only have I already proven myself in that regard, but it really, what you're doing is you're saying, okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not interested in learning how to do this. I'm not interested in going through all your long, boring videos. Um, my, my time's better served with just simply expecting you to just pony up a, a trade idea. Or even worse, you get folks that come in and say, well, you know, I'm not going to believe you unless you get on the leaderboard on the FTML. Uh, okay, if you need that, then, you know, good luck to yourself because I'm not interested in doing an FTML. Like, I'm not interested in that at all. But for folks that want to just simply know what the next trade idea is, you're really sounding off in the most obvious manner that you have absolutely got to the point or not willing to leave the initial uncertainty of what it's going to take for you to learn how to do this. You just simply want someone to hand deliver you a trade idea. And I could do that every day and it still would be somebody else changing their account and saying, okay, I'm just going to ask him as someone else because I just want to have a signal service and me act as an oracle. I don't want to do that. It's not fulfilling to me and you're not learning anything from it. You, you really aren't learning anything from that. What have you learned so far this year by me just simply telling you where it's going to go? Make you a better trader? No. It just gives you little moments in time where this logic is valid. But you still have to find your entry. You still have to define the risk. And how are you, you, the person listening right now, how are you going to determine when you're going to take your first partial? Because we're not going to have the same first partial. None of us are. You're all going to have some reason as to why you're taking off some, if you're going to take a partial. And what's your target going to be at the end? Where is terminus for you? Where's the last bit of the juice that's going to come out of that lemon that you're in there trying to squeeze the life out of? Where is it going to be the end for you? Because it's going to be different from all of us. So this is why I don't like to do those types of follow me, copy me type trading teaching. Because the logic that I'm going to subscribe to on that specific fractal and whatever time frame I'm utilizing, you don't have that. And because I'm trading with ultra small time frames, the decision processes that I'm going through, I don't have the luxury of completely outlining everything as it's happening because it's fluid. It's like it's happening right then and there. Sometimes I have the ability to annotate the chart and kind of tell you what's going to happen. Other times it's going to move too quickly. And you're not going to learn from that. It may be inspiring to you. It may encourage you. But that level of being able to replicate that yourself to the exact degree I don't ever promise that. In fact, I'm telling you that's not going to happen. What you're going to find is what you're comfortable with taking in terms of a trade and where your entry is going to be based on the same logic, but how you manage when you're going to move your stop. Are you ever going to move your stop? How much of a partial are you going to take? You see, all these questions are a unique thing. That, that would, that's what makes you your independent thinking Trader, like you are the person in control. The, the driver's seat is yours. The steering wheel is in your hands. And the results are yours, good or bad. Most of you in here simply want me to give you the easy stuff so you can feel like you did it yourself. Wow, yeah. I did awesome today. I followed everything he did. What does that mean? You didn't do anything. You didn't put any thought behind the trade. You have no idea. You're just blindly just taking it and hoping I'm right. 
Man, I hope ICT is right today. <laughs> Good grief. What happens if he goes into a 10 losing trade tailspin today? And I go in and I don't see it happening that way. And then I over leverage my account because I want to get it back in one quarter of the move he's expecting to have in the next trade setup. And then that goes into a tailspin. Now you've wrecked yourself. And you'd find some way to blame that. On it happened on America Online, folks. That kind of stuff happened. I learned from that. No matter what I do, if it's me placing a trade in your hands, you will not learn from that. You won't.